What's going on guys? Alex Ruth at 14ADC and tonight I have a real quick unpackaging to do for you guys today. This package came in yesterday. Um, I'm filming this on Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday, obviously. Uh, but I did not get home until like 8 o'clock last night. I worked uh, two side jobs after my main job. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to sit down or in this case stand and film uh, my unboxing but this is a package coming in from big red edc uh, this is a package through the apex pass around group and i believe this is a, a concept knives aggress or egress um, but before we get into that unboxing knife is the cjrb warncliffe pyrite uh, this thing i've had it in um since sunday if you guys caught the unboxing of this and the American Blade Works uh, Model 2. Two warnings were unboxed. This thing is really, really good. Um, I'm considering selling my Echo. Uh, I have a CGRB Echo in um, that I bought. I like that knife a lot, but for the same price range, I just like this a lot more. Um, so maybe after my review, I might try to sell that and then put that money towards this or try to do like a straight trade for it. Um, I don't know if anybody would be interested in that, but uh, I'm really enjoying the... The pyrite it's really really good for a 50 dollar button lock but we're going to rip into here set that up there and it is a box inside of a package so toss the package out of here uh slice in here again i think that's everything Yes, all right. Got some peanuts in here. Don't want to spill those all over the ground. Set this down here. All right, so here is the concept box. There is the concept logo. Looks like you, oh, it's a slide box, okay. Box has a really nice kind of matte feel finish to it. Um, I like that a lot. You can pull it all the way off. Got some more peanuts in there. Have a concept pouch. And then you also have, looks to be like some sort of paperwork, maybe a microfiber. Um, I don't have enough hands to pull that off, so I'm not going to. Put the box back there, throw it down there on the ground, and then looks like here, you just kind of flip that open. Um, that's definitely an intriguing way of sending knives. I've never seen another pouch um, used like that, so that's kind of cool. Put the paper back in here for when I send it off to the next person. And here is the knife, guys. So it's a bigger knife, obviously. Now you can see that right away. Um, this is in, I believe, brown or natural micarta. Uh, it has a little bit of a brown hint to it, but I think it's kind of a... Obviously, it's not oiled up very well um, or used a whole lot yet. Milt titanium pot clip on this side. And you cannot mount it lefty. Um, so that's a little bit, right off the bat, a little intriguing. Um, looks to be like there is a top flipper there. Um, titanium looking like backspacer. It's pretty thin, which I like. And there's a giant hole for deployment. So we will give it a thumb flick. Egress. And yes, this is a niche designs. Um, I think his name is Nick. I want to say Nick Rogers. I don't know for sure, um, but he's on Instagram as Niche Designs. You guys might be familiar with some of his other um, designs he has come out with, but this specific one is the Egress. And I think this specific model, um, which is also in S35VN, is designed after his sort of custom one-off that he came out with. Um, he kind of set aside for a while before he, I guess, decided to go forward on it with concept. But Big Blade... Um, the Warncliffe style blade, straight edge right here, kind of has, has a taper up there, and then it's tapered off. Um, I love how it's like a flat line, a flat line, and then the blade. Um, it's very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, you have a little bit of jimping, actually two different spots. You have some right there, and then right there, um, which is nice. I guess if you have giant hands, you could... Um, I actually really like the jimping out there. My hands are just big enough to reach on there, but if you have giant mitts and you're going to be using the choil, um, that's definitely comfortable. Kind of have a 50-50 choil there. Liner lock with plenty of lock bar access, which is really always appreciated. And there is plenty of internal milling. Uh, for being a bigger knife, it's pretty lightweight. We're going to see how the action is. 
very smooth, which I expected with such a big blade. Little finger flick, flies out of there. Thumb flick, very snappy for being a bigger blade. No blade play at all. This thing is locked up very nice and tight. Very smooth. Front flip. Works pretty well. Not as intuitive as the um, other deployments of this knife, but push up. Lefty. Pretty smooth, um, dead centered. Seems like the bearings could use a little bit of oil. They seem a little dry, but all in all, it's pretty smooth. And with that big a blade, it's always gonna have a nice drop to it. Thumb flick, or sorry, front flip. My carta feels nice. I think this is the first concept I've handled maybe ever. Um, I cannot think of another, I just got out of the shower so my hair is all crazy. Um, I cannot remember another concept that I had handled before. So I'm definitely um, excited to be checking out one of their products for the first time. And the Ergos are really good. Uh, just a simple blade, um, simple handle shave. It's pretty much straight back here. It's kind of an indentation there. Obviously a nice finger groove there. And it's pretty, I mean, pretty thin through there. So choked back, nice and comfortable. You have a lot of blade to uh, control. And then choked up, it's also very comfortable as well. I want to say this blade is like 3.6, 3.7 inches, somewhere in there. Um, I will definitely find a um, more specific number or have my computer nearby whenever whenever I uh, do my full review. But yeah, this is cool. Um, I'm excited to get this in pocket and to check it out. Like I said, it's pretty thin, nice and lightweight for being a bigger knife. So um, has a lanyard tube back there. But yeah, it's a cool knife. And uh, yeah really all i have to say today guys um it was a pretty quick unboxing just one knife and i think just hitting over seven minutes so i think that's a pretty good unboxing time for me um, i normally typically run over 10 um but yeah try not to ramble too much try not to uh draw you guys on with long stories that you probably don't care about so this was my unboxing of the concept knives egress which is a niche rogers design really exciting um I'm, i've been kind of intrigued by this for a while um i was quick to jump on it whenever the um the listing was made in the apex group so i'm excited but um leave a comment down below what are your guys thoughts on this um you know big knives little knives what, what do you guys tend to prefer and uh specifically with the egress let me know what your thoughts are so i'm gonna wrap this up but thank you guys so much for watching um i always greatly appreciate each and every one of you and i uh, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your morning evening night whenever you're watching this and i'll talk to you guys in the next one Peace.